So I knew the hole in my game was the grappling side. I had done a little bit of grappling, a little bit of shoot wrestling, you know, Filipino grappling, uh, a little bit of Japanese jiu-jitsu. But I knew, uh, you know, that Brazilian jiu-jitsu was probably the cutting edge of grappling. You know, uh, when I saw the UFC, the first one with Hoist Gracie, you know, I knew straight away that, uh, that I needed to learn jiu-jitsu just to, you know, just to stay current. So um, I ran into Hoist Gracie several times in, in the Los Angeles area, you know, and um, I knew I wanted to do it, but, um, but it wasn't until I moved to Orange County, California, that I met Clever Luciano. And um, I re he really resonated with me. He's a great coach. And um, so I, you know, I worked with uh, Clever Luciano all the way to, to black belt level in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And uh, I love Jiu Jitsu. It's a great system of, of uh, self-defense, great uh, form of competition. And, um, you know, uh, pretty much I think nowadays you need to know at least a little bit just to be able to survive, you know, in, in the real world. Yeah, so Jeet Kune Do is based on being able to do it all, you know, um, striking, grappling, trapping, weaponry. And um, so it's, you know, and then mixed martial arts, obviously, we integrate grappling with striking very well. You know, so, um, uh, you know, the more background you get in martial arts, the more you see how things link up, you know. And so, um, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I think, um, links up really well with uh, the Jeet Kune Do philosophy, you know, um, with obviously the mixed martial arts philosophy and approach. So um, it's, it's, it's a natural thing. However, I don't teach it together. I teach everything separately, you know, at my academy now. And so, you know, we offer uh, box francais savate. We offer Thai boxing, Muay Thai. You know, we offer Jeet Kune Do. Filipino martial arts. We have Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with the gi and without the gi. We have a program just for mixed martial arts. We have a fitness kickboxing program. And the way we do it now, everything is, is, is separate because I, I wanted my students to be able to experience, you know, the, the total art and see what it's all about. You know what I mean? But, but in reality, what we want to do is be able to, to flow between the different systems, you know, and, um, but, I found that when I trained separately in the arts that it really helped me to get an understanding of that system. And so that's why I'm uh, presenting it to my people now. So uh, box francais savate is a great martial art. It's uh, great for competition and great for self-defense. In fact, um, when you say savate, it really is a self-defense system. However, box francais savate is the ring sport, and that's the one that most people know about. But um, I was first exposed to Savat at the at the first Inasano Academy uh, through Salema Sli, and um, and Gurdian talked about it a lot. We had a program there, so I did a little bit, and and there were a lot of um, the best French Savat people would come through the Inasano Academy, so I got to meet a lot of them. Uh, but I didn't get serious about Savat until I met. Nicholas Sinyak, who's uh, probably my main instructor in Savat. He and Salim Asli are my instructors, but um, uh, yeah, I, I got really serious about it, decided I want to really learn this, you know, and, um, and so that's what I did. I, I, it was easy for me, though, because uh, the Jeet Kune Do kickboxing is, to me, it's the same as Savat. We wear shoes, the punches are the same, the kicks are the same, the footwork is the same, the defenses are a little different. Um, but uh, it was a very easy transition for me to do to do box francais.